So we went from Corvette week to Camaro week. Camaro, 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 Camaro. Camaro. That's a lot of Camaros. Bobby's car, this is the stage five supercharged one. Uh, his clutch is toast, so we're gonna do a clutch in that. It's, it was still on stock clutch, it was only a matter of time. So we're gonna do a clutch in that. A lot of Camaros. Power? Two. <laughs> Three torque? Yep. It's probably, usually they lose torque. Can we do another one with the plug? Yeah. Let's do one. Just for good measure, make sure it wasn't like. Yeah. Watch it pick up more from now. But then we closed them back up and it made 416. Honestly, I would just say that they're the same. There's no difference. Because that could be any variant. And just air. What's this thing getting? Can I package? Come on, Sean. You can do it. I could help right now, but. But you're an asshole. <laughs> but filming Sean getting a leg workout as much. More enjoyable. So much room. So much room for activities. How's your whipple coming? Uh, I think I'm done. Sweet backwards hat, bro. Quite uh, permanent. <laughs> Want some colon into it? Yes. Sick. Air change plugs and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, we got new wires on there too. Look at you, Matthew. Gift to us all. Looks pretty good. It does. Sometimes the whip will need to change or how it just get weird. Yeah. I've never had one that like cool. always had to cut the hoses and make the difference. Like, remember on the Silverado I did? Yeah. It's like really weird. I remember. Like they're all like that. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember sipping lemonade underneath a shady tree? Remember when you hit that pedestrian with your car at the crosswalk and then just drove away? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Is that, a, is that their thing? Yeah. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm, we remember. Yeah. Pepperidge yeah. Farm remembers. Uh, turn the key on. Okay. Yes, we have rubber there. Good. Pump works. What do you do? Boost the pump for fuel? Yeah, MSD. Okay. Not MSD. Tire wheel or battery wheel, whatever you call it. Gotcha. 
Let's check on the angry one. He's doing a cam package on the fifth gen. This one we just baselined. One with the cutouts. Man, this thing is filthy. Yeah. This thing's been apart before. It's missing all kinds of bolts. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm replacing them as I go. Just to stuff it like little brackets that hold stuff. Like, gotcha. There's a, there's a, uh, the bat main battery cable runs below the, um, the front cover there. And I have to usually take the bolts out to move, move it down far enough to get the lower cover bolts out, like through the pan. And I went to do it and they were just gone. There's hmm. one on the side and there's one below here. And they're both gone. And now they're, uh, it holds that cable, not only does it hold the cable on, but it holds the uh, AC lines. Gotcha. So, I just put that on. I just need to find a nut now that can go on there. You gotta do valve springs too. Yeah, but I wanna replace them so that the customer doesn't think I'm the one that took them out and left them out. It's awfully nice of you. So, just I just want it done right. That's what we do. Yep. Okay, have fun with that. Let's see what Sean just rolled in. Man, some old school forge lines. These are like OG, OG. What's up with this thing? It's got a five inch intake. Is it? No. I was gonna say I hear a blower, so yeah. why would we do that? <laughs> uh, just maintenance stuff. So. Okay, this is one we did a while ago. Uh, yeah. So just Changing the blower oil, changing the oil plugs, checking it over. Filthy. Yeah, it's a little dirty. She dirty. She got adjustable suspension though. A little dampening. Oh uh, yeah, I got to raise the suspension too. Apparently, it's uh, rubbing the wheels. Okay. A little low. Yeah. Aphrodite. Okay. Uh, that's singing to himself. He does that. That's what I do all day. Uh, no a few moments later. Man, got this thing all cleaned up. Looks good now. Crystal meth. We're not even a detail shop. We just like doing clean work. Get it? Ha! 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 I cracked myself up. I think it was filthy before. We just did course on and valve yeah, covers and stuff, uh, I don't know, three or four months ago. Mark, yep. good customer of ours. We did a C7Z for him a couple years ago, another red one. This is his new car. Now it's got axles, a ported blower, a pulley, yeah. headers. Cut. Talking. I would take one of these over a vet any day. I like them. I agree. As far as like daily driving or whatever, I think they look great. Please look here. It's auto 10 speed, so 7.
super clean. It is like clean. inside and out, like it is and immaculate. There's damn stock, stock intake too. Mm -hmm. How many miles are on it? Nine thousand four hundred seventy-nine. Okay, that's pretty. Sick. Yeah, under ten thousand. I mean, dude, the interior is like immaculate. Min oh, it's even got the suede wheel. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, he probably just had it detailed. Yeah. Sean, what's your guess? Unless you want to go first there. Backstreet Boy. 462. Okay. Solid. I'll go 456. Sean? <laughs> right on the dot. Uh, that's really good power. That's one of the highest stock ones I've seen. Today on Franz Mail Time. Just a new G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, time music. oh, it gave us some more shakers, too. Is there another Steve Austin one in there? <laughs> There's an Undertaker oh, one. Oh, Bill, you got it. <laughs> Yo, Randy. Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, okay. There you go, Bill. Dude, WrestleMania is this weekend. Is it? Undertaker. Yeah. Dude, look at the Macho Man one. That thing's Project. sick. Is there right. Steve Austin? Yep, that's the one Matt has. He loves it. I don't I don't get the whole wrestler thing, but that's actually these are hilarious. I mean why would you not? I mean Oh who else we got? Oh the rock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the red and black on there is pretty, yeah. pretty good. You know you should take this cover off and put it on like a, a black one would look cool. Peach iced tea. Okay. So far, the one, the one I like the most is the golden apple pear. It's delicious. You would. Dude, it is so good. Yeah, I'm not a... Uh, it tastes like a green I'm not an apple pear uh, person, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a big one of it. Because it's like, it tastes like a Jolly Rancher, the green one. You guys haven't ordered this stuff. You're sleeping. It's, I like it because like, you can just put it in like a bottle of water. You know yeah, what I mean? Like... Uh, I don't know, Steve. I don't know if we got uh, any golden apple pears. KP loved this one, the rainbow sherbet. Oh yeah. That's oh wait, awesome. hold on, maybe. Good. Nope, that's lemon lime. It doesn't taste like a normal energy drink. I think it's yeah. like a just tastes like juice. Yeah, yeah. Which is good about it. Sugar free and Zeus. Zeus is barking or something. Listen, you want some? I guess. Yeah, I'll go give him some. Yeah, that's the up. last thing he needs. There he is. There he is. Yeah, Stevie B, everybody. Eric D. Where's your light bar? Uh, not on this car. Thanks. Uh, that's why I asked. Right, I figured it was my ass. What's the point of having it, you know? Yeah. 
Unbelievable. So what you doing, Eric? Taking the blower off so it can get ported. Uh, you're just you're just bringing the energy today. I know. <laughs> Always, every day. <laughs> Had a great weekend. Yeah, I saw you caught a nice little snakehead. I caught a, a couple, yeah, and then, uh, uh, we didn't. I didn't. I didn't see any meat in the fridge or the freezer. Yeah, because I didn't catch them in an area where I'd like to eat them. Oh, all right, good point. No, uh, <laughs> we will not be eating them. Right, you don't want some Delaware River nastiness? No. Okay. So what else are we doing to this? Uh, Headers. A, he wants a steering wheel. Um, a, I don't know. Axles, maybe a lower. Too, right? Is it getting axles? I think it is. I thought Matt said axles or something. I, don't I know ported blower, obviously. Yeah, ported already... blower, uh, lower, headers. headers, and I think that was it. Okay. For, for, for performance, I think. Okay. Uh, it's got course on it. Right, we put that on in one of our episodes. Let's check on Matthew, aka Emo Hair. Sup? Sup? Yeah, but you got the little Whatever. push together. We got like the flock of seagulls going. We could basically have like a Rock band. Yeah, yeah, we could. We need a band. It's continuing the heads cam on this. Yep. Front cover back around. Heads going on soon. Yep. baseline this one three times only because we had to do a comparison with the cutouts. I didn't know it has cutouts. Yeah, see that switch right on the uh, on your in the inner oh, side the yeah. little, little toggle. So when you're done you I'm gonna guess that it made three horsepower less with them open. So this is what happened. <laughs> we made one and it made like 415 then we open them and it made 417. Then we closed them again and opened it back up and it made like two more or something like that. So it's basically the same. Yeah, because when you're doing back to back pulls, it's hotter and hotter. So it's not a not the best comparison. I know, but it's kind of hard to get exact temps. I mean, air. No, and, yeah, I know, I know. So being one or two horsepower difference, we put it as just the same. Yeah, I didn't know it had them. Yep. So when you're done, just do a... I will. Cut out of it. I know once more stuff's done, they typically lose power, especially torque. Not necessarily lose, but... Most cars don't benefit from it. Right. Like on... Uh, Lower cars or it's turbo cars. Like on that PPV that we took the exhaust off of. It sounded bone stock. Yeah. It's probably so restrictive, and it made 20 10. No, it was 15 and 15. Yeah. Right. Still, and that's that thing is a, like a spot. That car is quiet as can be. Yeah. 15 so. is not worth it for me, really. I like it quiet. That thing was like quiet, quiet. Yeah.
insane. You made one more, man. Yeah, but it made one last torque than the previous one. <laughs> well, it's, it's <laughs> give or take, you know? Pros and cons. It, it's safe to say that they do not add power. No. That is what we are deducting from this test. I mean, I already knew that. I knew. Just saying. Something about hitting that switch, feeling that vibration under your seat turns you into a Are they like though. right here? Like it's I can like feel right them. Okay. Here, yeah. I was going to say, like I can feel it on my feet when I'm making a pull. Makes you feel like a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> open that switch. Dude, up. when I was young, I had like, my Camaro had like open Y pipe and shit. It was all loud. And it was like the best thing until like I got a little older and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't like this. Yeah. We all now I want it like silent. I, like I can't wait till my fucking cat back comes for my ZR1. Hey, no cursing for that. You're right. <laughs> can't wait until my cat back comes for my <laughs> ZR1. What'd you get? Some uh, the Hooker Blackheart okay. setup that they made. Some Holly. Some Holly, yep. It's like one of the only exhausts that they ha that someone makes still with valves that's not four thousand dollars. I think it's like seventeen hundred or sixteen hundred or something. For full cat back, that's not bad. Well, it's axle back on a Z06, but okay. um, same thing. But yeah, so I'm real curious to see how it sounds because my like baffle and my stock muffler is messed up. Yeah, it's, it sounds like a tin can. It's like rattling. The only other ones are like Acropovic, I think, which are like four grand. Then the B&B &B Fusion or whatever, which I think is also like four grand. Um, and I think for C6, I think that's the only two that you can get that still has valves. Boiler, does, Boiler doesn't, Corsa doesn't. And a C7. Magnaflow doesn't. Yeah, C7 stuff you can, but for C6 stuff. So, I don't know, I'm real curious. Well, we'll do a little review when we get it. We're going to do a dyno before and after install video. Okay. Maybe a couple sound clips on the street. Yeah. A little ripperino by the shop. Yeah. It's probably a good idea. Maybe. What's up with the, the white C60? I just saw that coming the other day. Valve covers and mana. Okay. Yep. So just like aesthetics. This is one we did a heads cam on a long time ago. Rambo. So this is actually wrapped. It's yeah. like a really good job, actually. That looks good. A little filthy under here, though. It's very dirty. He's gonna have to keep it clean now. Yeah, he's got something to show off once he gets a valve cover. What color valve covers are we doing? Uh, I think it says black. Okay. On the box. I did not open the box yet. Okay. Man, you're getting all the ones to clean up. Uh, it's just story of my life. You're gonna have to get some more like engine cleaner yeah. stuff. We got the white wrap out. Yeah. The soft stuff. Because it's wrapped. Yeah. So on wrapped cars, the uh, blue stuff is. We'll leave kind of like a residue. Yeah. So we use the white stuff, which is um, some more of like a fabric. It's thicker. Like a band-aid. Yeah, basically. It's it's a lot more expensive though. You know what's gonna happen now? People are gonna start made, asking for this yeah. on the website now too. Shit's made by 3M too, so and you know it's expensive. But then you also know it's good. Yeah, we don't use it very often. Yeah. You want to open them up? See what color they are? Not particularly. Okay. Would you like to? No. I can't open and like film at the same time. It's kind of hard. Yeah, fine. You, you can open them. Well, it says black on it. Yeah. That's why. Dude, that's like the coolest last name ever. Rambo. Dude, yeah. I want his last name. <laughs> we call my one buddy his dad Rambo. If I could change my last name, Rambo would probably be on the top. Of it. 
to have a lot of shine under there. Right. So many Camaros. I use G Fuel to get me through the day.